It looked like something out of our movie. It was getting out of hands. You can run, you can't hide. Days out from Christmas, 2023, a bulk carrier docks in Ireland. Inconspicuous, except for its cargo. 300 kilos of high-grade cocaine and a dangerous new link to Australia. Bikey Angelo Pandelli, already our most wanted, allegedly worked on that shipment with Dublin's notorious Kinahan cartel, and by all accounts, many more. As Pandeli makes his case for Australian supply chain dominance for the Hells Angels, so too does Alex Barre for the Comancheros. The Spaniard is the club's newly minted world commander, after the Anon app arrests drained its leadership. Police here in the resort town of Marbella on Spain's Costa del Sol are well acquainted with Barre, his rise to the top and his involvement in the cocaine trade. Now they're desperate to learn more. The Australian cocaine market is one of the world's most lucrative. Users spend a collective 1.3 billion on the drug each year, and at more than $300 a gram, prices are only behind Saudi Arabia and the UAE. A botched drug shipment off Queensland's coast has seen cocaine literally flooding our shores. Bricks labelled with names including Boss, Z97 and RZ have been washing up. 256 kilograms in total, including here, at Sydney's famous Bondi Beach. Probably 100,000, 200,000 bucks in that little package there. This has been a failure for that criminal element. Those drugs have not gone to their intended purpose. Our appetite for cocaine may be high, but globally, we are still only considered a growing market. Europe and the Americas dominate. And for traffickers, Rotterdam in the Netherlands is where it's at. Around 190,000 people work here, either directly or indirectly. Over the past 10 years or so, it really has become Europe's hub for cocaine. At a port of that magnitude, narcos need insiders to usher shipments through. You have to have someone who is corrupt and who tells you where you can find uh, this container. Sometimes the container is in uh, a position where you can't reach it, so you have to, have to find an another person who is corrupt. No one knows the corruption game better than gangster Roger Peterson or Pete Costa. He made the Dutch harbour his own. Importing cocaine in pineapple containers from Costa Rica until 2020, when one of his own turned on him. And he ordered this torture chamber. Fucking hell. Complete with hammers, scalpels, and a dentist chair. It looked like something out of a horror movie, like Saw or something. It was, it was totally crazy. For his craziness and trafficking, Roger P got 15 years. But the innocent victims of the trade are serving life sentences, like Tim Edwards, whose beautician daughter Ali was gunned down at a British pub by warring drug gangs. It's horrendous. You go to a pub with a machine gun on Christmas Eve. Two years earlier, a separate coke gang made headlines for the largest coke smuggling operation in British history. And a Kim Kardashian wannabe was front and centre. One of the so-called sunshine and lollipop mules lured by opulence. And this bad boy is the balcony. Look at that view! To move suitcases from Heathrow to the UAE. And this is Dubai. <laughs> This is where all the money ends up. 190 million in total for the Sunshine and Lollipop groups, lauded through a now defunct gold trading business. But Dubai's rivers of gold still run deep. And it is here where the Kinahans and Pandali run their empires. To them I'd say you can run, but you can't hide from justice forever. Turkey's justice system is having the last laugh on Crim's court there rebadging their seized assets. 
There was a Lamborghini, there was a Bentley and a Mercedes which um, were traffic police cars. So those cars now have the Turkish National Police emblem on the side. Back home, police are not only trying to smash imports, but users too. And that profile has changed to tradies and mums and dads at barbecues. There's so many cops walking around in pubs with sniffer dogs these days that people find it far more relaxing to be just be sitting at home with their mates where they know they're not going to be interrupted. While they might stay under the legal radar, medically it is doing them lifelong harm. What young people will not know is that they may well be developing serious heart disease. They may be 25 but their heart may be 65. 